Hi, Josh here with the St. Louis Science Center with another experiment that you can try at home. So for this experiment, you're going to need a plastic container with a little bit of water in it, and you need to have a top that pops off. So I've got plastic test tubes. Uh, you can use maybe an old film canister. You might have to ask your parents uh, if they have any of those laying around. Or uh, some of those candies like M&M's or Skittles might come in a plastic container with a pop-off top. Anything that has a pop-off top will work. Like I said, water, and you will need Alka-Seltzer. So these are called pop rockets. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your Alka-Seltzer and you're going to break off a little chunk of it, put it into your plastic container, put the top back on, and just watch what happens. Might take a minute or two. Uh, I meant to do that. So now, even, you'll see that it's still bubbling. So if you have a, another top ready, so what you can do is put it back on. You might be able to get a couple shots. Now this time, I'm gonna put it upside down. So whenever you take the Alka-Seltzer and put it in the water, you should start to see some bubbles. Now those bubbles mean that a chemical reaction is happening. And that chemical reaction is what's producing a gas called carbon dioxide. So when you plug up the plastic tube, it creates a whole bunch of pressure, and that's what will hopefully give it enough force to shoot off. So as you can see, you might make a mess, so do be careful, and try this at home, and I will see you at scienceoffcenter.org. Alright, one more rocket. Oh dear, okay. I thought it was going to shoot at me. And there you go.